<clears throat> so in this chapter, the first thing you do is you literally are trailing back all the way to beginning of chapter one, except the difference is you don't follow right when you jump down to head back to the end of the river. Excuse me. Um, you go left and then you go and grab the fire wheels. So I just do a, a forward jump or a directional jump back into the door and then wall run and then you're literally just roll jumping all the way through. Be careful here because there's that trap door. So just be careful of that. I like to reset my camera so I can aim for that doorway. And then the rest is just kind of muscle memory. So we're literally just falling back and try not to get wall clings. So you can shuriken like that to make sure you made the jump if you were going to over jump it. So that was a wall cling. I didn't want to do that. And then all we do is just jump down here and then we just follow this path this way. <clears throat> And then I just forward X into it because you already have to hit X. So I just mash an X after I get my first strike there. <clears throat> and then here, we'll wall run across, pick this up for some smoke bombs, and then we're just gonna skip these guys. So, will they follow me? Yeah, they will. Okay, so I will say these trees, if you try to keep roll jumping, Ryu's feet are like magnetically attracted to those trees for some reason. So when you get to these trees, do like one more wall jump and then just run around them. And then the only thing you want to do here is make sure you don't land in the water and then just go by these guys. So when I see the mage behind me, I like to throw shuriken to make sure. So I whiff that. Oh, I didn't make a save. That's okay. So I whiff that jump, I'll just throw a clip in the video of what you're supposed to do. Um, you can grab this. I'm pretty sure it's just essence. Oh no, that's Master Ninja. So it's just a small elixir. It's just extra safety. You don't have to grab it. It's not mandatory. And then here we're going to go grab the staff that you can see or the lunar that you can see over there. And we're just going to go past all these guys. And we're going to head up. Yeah, I'm pushing a um, once I'm in the air, I'm pushing a as over and over again and holding forward. That way, Ryu literally is just swinging branch to branch. <clears throat> Yeah. In what way do I play? Um, I've done normal and Master Ninja runs, Maxi. So I do both of them. This one's for normal right now. So right there, um, I don't even know what you would call that. We just do a jump and then drag. So you see how I'm moving Ryu a little bit in the air like that? So that's just easier to, to get down there. So down here, we'll go to Muramasa. He's going to talk to us. Oh no. Yeah. We just, we just mash it. And then we just scroll all the way to the bottom and buy the art of the inferno. And then we back out. And then the next things we do is we're going to grab. Am I, I feel like I missed a save. Let's uh, real quick. I'm pretty sure there's a save back here. Let's go grab it. So that way I can showcase the horseman in case I mess it up. So we'll grab these. Um, you definitely need this. You don't have to get that small heal, but you do need this for this strat that we're going to do. <clears throat> so we're going to run through here. We're going to go fill up on the arrows on the corpse. And then we're going to run by to head to the two horsemen and then we'll all explain the menuing that we do.
Okay, so at this point, um, we will swap to bow. And then we're gonna equip our first Nimpo, which is Art of the Inferno. And then, yeah, it is, that is helpful. And then I like to go back to the item tab because after we cast our first Nimpo, we're gonna consume Elixir of the Devil Way and the Thousand Gods back to back. So I like to just be ready when I hit pause, I just need to go to this item and then mash A to consume this and then it'll consume this right away. And then you keep the dragon sword. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna try to knock the horsemen off of the horses with with our Nimpo and then ET, ET them. So it's a little RNG where they actually go. So that's the goal there. <clears throat> so what happens there is when the horse runs into you and you're casting your Nimpo, it knocks off the horseman. And then what I'm doing for the second horseman is I'm holding my left thumbstick the opposite direction because the other horseman that is still riding his horse is off screen and I don't want the Inferno Fireball to actually hit the guy I literally just knocked off. If that makes sense. So I'm in the way of the Archer horse guy. And then once I get him knocked off, I'm holding my left thumbstick to the right somewhere. It doesn't matter where, as long as it's not forward left to where the guy that you literally knocked off. Because you don't want the Fireball to hit the guy you just knocked off. And then what we do here, if I line it up correctly, is I'm going to run up to where the two horsemen are going to spawn. They're going to jump and land, and hopefully they land where I'm casting my Nimpo. It knocks both of them off, and then the fireball kills both of them immediately. There we go. Yep. Uh, you can tell which target you want it to go to. You... If so like for there when I when I casted it <clears throat> I was standing here and then I casted it but I was holding right on my left thumbstick or yeah right on my left thumbstick so that's how you always hit the other horseman if I don't direct it then I mean it's really up to Ryu to, to hit whatever he's gonna hit so it's only like that for Inferno. Inazuma, you know, is an AOE attack, Nimpo. And then it's up to you after you kill those guys. If you want to go back and pick up <clears throat> all that essence, go for it. Uh, we'll save here because why not? I don't think I need to display that. It works exactly how I wanted. <clears throat> and then we'll we'll loot this corpse and we get another free big elixir. <clears throat> so in here we have Masakado. So what happens here is you're pretty much trying to hit him with as many arrows as you can. <clears throat> but when you come in, don't reset your camera and don't aim down sight. Just keep, I don't know, I guess hit firing with the arrows and then avoiding getting hit by Masakado physically. Because when you reset your camera, the mages want to be inside of your camera. So they're going to teleport and they will probably be on top of you. Okay. So if you don't touch your camera and you don't change to first person with the bow like this, Whoops. If you just push B, he's going to aim at the nearest target, which is probably going to be Masakado. So you'll see the two mages are going to be hanging out in that back corner and that back corner. While Masakado is running back and forth trying to get you. <clears throat> so keep that in mind. The mages want to be inside your camera view. So if you don't reset your camera, they're going to stay where they spawned. 
If you get hit by Masakado and it makes you change, then the mages are going to follow. Okay, so they're going to teleport. If you if you do get kill a mage, it makes sense to use their essence to ET or UT Masakado. Um, but ideally, you just pelt him with arrows and hope he doesn't block them. Okay? <clears throat> So it's good to kind of keep in the back of your mind when they're casting Nimpo. You can just block it. You don't have to roll, you know, to actually avoid it. So now reuse kind of trolling me. So I saw that blue in the back. Okay, so now I don't have anything. So this is when it gets annoying. Yeah. So you don't have to pick up any health, any Nimpo, just run through because you get a refill. Okay? So, to me, that would have been a really bad Masakado because you ran out of arrows and you have to hit a melee, which is like the worst thing for you because he can just run you over. <clears throat> So we'll move on to chapter three. This is actually going a lot faster than I thought it was going to. <clears throat> and then we'll proceed. <laughs> That's better than you've ever done. Yeah, it's just, I, I just learned. Yeah, it, exactly. I got it on my, my PB I just did last night. Yeah, he usually does block a lot of arrows. So if, if Ryu decides to aim at the mages and kills him, you might as well use their essence in case he does block a lot of arrows. So you might as well do it earlier than later. <clears throat> <clears throat> 